Hello, YouTube friends. Welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be reviewing Armada by Ernest Klein. Here is some cover arts. I personally listened to the audiobook. It was narrated by Will Wheaton. He is always amazing when he's reading books. It's so much fun for him, for me to listen to him. He did the Ready Player One audiobook as well. If you want me to review that, let me know down in the comments below because I also really liked that book. But um, Armada is about a young man named Zach Lightman, and he has some anger issues, and he's a nerd who likes to play video games. He likes to play this video game called Armada, and Armada's a uh, flight simulation game, which he is number six in the world, because it's kind of like a communal thing. It's number six in the world. It's amazing. And then his friends like to play this game called Terra Firma, which is a sister game to Armada. And one day, Zach is sitting in class, kind of zoning out, and he sees an alien ship from the game that he likes to play. And so he's like freaking out, thinking he's going insane. So he... It is a great novel, and I'm going to stop spoiling it for you now. And then I'm going to put up a spoiler thing right about here, so that way, if you don't want to hear my spoilers, you can you can pause or you can fast forward until spoilers is gone. So he goes home. He his his dead father is in is he goes through his dead father stuff and he's trying to. There's all these conspiracy theories about how video games are training the youth to become able to fight aliens. And you find out that his dad did not die, in fact. He is alive and ser serving this Earth alliance to, to defend the Earth against an alien invasion of drones. And the Armada and Terra Firma games are prep games for, are training simulations for the world as a whole. So that way, the, the Earth has a defense. And... I like this book, and I don't like elements of this book. Um, I don't like that his dad is a martyr at least six times. Like, okay, I'm, I'm exaggerating, but still, his dad, theoretically, to Zack's knowledge, dies three times in this book. Only one of them was a genuine death. Like, his dad fakes his death to, to join the EA, and then he dies again in his his martyristic, like, just almost death in Antarctica. And then he then he actually dies in in, in the end of the book. And it's just like, I don't like you have killed him so many times. I don't care. It doesn't mean as much like the like when when you find out his dad's dad's dead and then you when he when you find out he's alive, that's powerful. When you think he's going to die in Antarctica, it's like, oh my God, oh my God. And then you find out he lives through that. It's like, okay, so he's going to live. And then by the third time, it's like, bro, bro, you've, you've used all of it up. But that being said, I really enjoyed the book. I really enjoyed the, the messages of your government can and will lie to you and people outside of your government can and will lie to you and i really like how you can you can want to help people but you you don't have to trust them Pe people can help you and you can help people or or aliens even but you don't have to trust them Especially, I love the ending because it's just, it's so great. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. I really want you to read this because this is an amazing book and it's so much fun. And my next book that I'm going to be reviewing is also kind of heavy in its subject matter. Like this is really like not that heavy, but there's a lot of heavy elements in it. But my next book that I'm going to be reviewing is going to be Go Set a Watchman by Harper Lee. 
and I hope you guys will enjoy that. And if you have any comments, concerns about this book, leave them in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or if you have anything you want me to review, let me know in the comments down below. So I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day.